Hey guys, welcome back to the to the Wolf Among Us episode four, part five. Let's continue. Of that going around, I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the crooked man there. And by the way, guys, if you're wondering why you hear clicking, um, that's just my brother Hunter. He is right next to me playing Left 4 Dead 2. Maybe I can make enough noise that the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... Yeah, beast you know boy. that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I couldn't tell you. But I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She gets under my skin, you know, I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. By we working shouldn't for have the to live brain. like this. Scraping to get man. by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. I don't need to understand. It's not my fucking job to understand. My job is to keep Fable Town safe. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. The Lucky Pawn. I'm going to the Lucky Pawn. There's too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just... Go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. We're at the Loki Pond, guys. note it looks like you slept in it in a pile of garbage jack why are you i've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner yeah but i also got her phone number i don't want your phone number Ugh. really whoa big b's here yeah i'm just here for information 
questions about the murders. This will take two minutes and I'll be out your way. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic! So? And it'll be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Can we, you know, move this along? I'm trying to, but this lousy git can't see a good deal even when it walks in on two little legs. So what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I, I don't know. <sighs> this is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If the witches didn't charge so fucking much, give me a break, Toad. This is your own damn fault. You buy a car, but you don't save money for this? And what happened to that car, huh? Right? Let's talk about that. Smashed to a tin can because you had to play rough with the woodsman. I don't know. If you're wondering why you hear stuff, it's Hunter playing Left 4 Dead 2. My brother Hunter. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not gonna take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be, since it's all bleeding operations just to set up for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnay on the own ways, okay, Og Frey. I mean, what kind of a game are you running in? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle that shit. It's not worth it, Toad. What? Sometimes it's worth it? You know, depending. I mean, I don't even know what he's talking about. When has a crooked man loan ever been worth it, Jack? Well, I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Fuck off. Leave the coat. Alright guys, I'm gonna end it here.